What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. We appreciate it. If you like this type of content, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. Today's video, we're focusing on the advantages of Apple Business Manager, DEP. When you're managing corporate-issued devices, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, which I'm shooting this video on now, when you're managing corporate issue devices, there's no if, ends, buts about it. You need to take advantage of these programs to have the level of control you really need and want over those corporate issue devices versus BYU D devices. And what these programs do is they take an iPhone, for example, right? They This iPhone, it thinks it's a consumer asset. It's Matt's phone. It's Carl's phone. It's Molly's phone. And what these programs do, Apple Business Manager, DEP, it says no phone. You do not belong to Matt. Carl, Molly, you belong to XYZ Corporation and you have to go out and get enrolled in Mass360 to be controlled and managed by XYZ Corporation. A big, big advantage of Apple Business Manager when you're working with Mass360 is the automatic enrollment process. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail today of what that looks like. I did shoot a video about what that looks like on an iPhone, for example, and you could click on that video above my head right here. I'll simply say this, if it's taking you hours, it's probably taking you hours right now to configure an iOS device or a macOS device for an employee. Hours, right? I hear this all the time from IT leaders. It's taking them hours to set up and configure these devices. With Apple Business Manager and Mass360, those hours we're going to cut down to a few minutes. Again, click on that video above my head right here. I would say the biggest advantage that I always love telling my clients about when I'm on calls with them with Apple Business Manager, when they're trying to manage corporate issued Mac OS or iOS devices, is that big advantage of the enrollment process being completely automated. That's number one. Number two, because that device, this iPhone, is now managed not only by Mass360, but it's successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager, and it's a corporation device. I will not have the ability to delete the Mass360 profile from this device. So you're always going to have control as the IT admin over this device. It's locking in that MDM profile. I will not have the ability to delete that MDM profile from my device. For BYOD devices, it's my personal device. I will have the ability to delete the Mass360 profile. If it's corporate issue devices that aren't enrolled in DEP, it really sees that asset still as a consumer asset, and I will have the ability to delete Mass360 from my phone. Now, there are some workarounds that we could talk about in future videos, videos, excuse me, with compliance rules, but that will be a future video. Let me share out my screen right here to the demo portal. Bear with me for a second. And we're going to talk about a few other advantages here. Let me just go to the home page. A few other advantages here in terms of getting these devices successfully enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager. Let's pop into device inventory. All right, so we have two devices here. We have two iOS devices. Let's go into this first one here. Okay, important to note. When you're on this summary page, this is the basic information on the device. We get more granular here in the drop down. Right away, by looking at this hardware inventory information on this page, I can see that this device is successfully enrolled in the Apple DEP program. It's corporate owned. Not only is it corporate owned important, it is successfully enrolled in the Apple DEP program. Because it's successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager, if you go here to the drop down under more, you'll have the ability to push iOS updates to either download and install, download only, install earlier, download updates immediately. You'll have the ability to push out iOS updates, OS updates to these devices that are successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager DEP. If this device was not, and I'll show you here right now, if a device, this iPad here, as you can see, the enrollment process was manual. It's corporate owned, but it's manual. Mass360 sees this phone 
as a BYOD device. It's not enrolled in Apple Business Manager. So the, the advantages that I already said previously, you're not going to have the ability to do that. And if you go here in the drop down for more, as you can see, that action that you could take to push iOS updates to this phone, it's not available. Now, why is this important? Super important. Back in September of 2021, there was a zero click threat to Apple devices where a hacker could gain access to a MacBook or an iPhone, for example, without the end user knowing about it. And the only defense against that zero click threat was to make sure that all Apple devices were fully up to date on the latest Apple software. Ensuring that's the case within Mass 360 is easy and automatic, but you will not have the ability to force or push down updates on the OS to devices that aren't enrolled in DEP. I don't care if they're corporate issued or BYOD. If they're corporate issued and not involved or enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager, you will not have the ability to force download the updates for iOS updates. You just won't. That's a big, big, big reason why clients need to get these corporate issue devices successfully on an Apple Business Manager and Mass 360. Again, I'm going to make a separate video. There are some workarounds. We could set up compliance rules where if a device doesn't successfully update their OS, we could cut them off from the network so you're protected. But there's some limitations when we come when it comes to that. And I'll get a TSS, one of the technical engineers, on that separate video. So again, you can tell right here on the summary page if this device is successfully enrolled in DEP. If it is, go back to it. If it is, there's a ton of different actions that you'll have available here that aren't available for BYOD devices or corporate issued Mac OS or iOS devices that aren't enrolled in DEP. So just to summarize, automatic enrollment, where this device, these devices are now seeing themselves as corporate devices that belong to the company, not the employee. It's not a consumer asset. Number three advantage, locks in the MDM profile. I, as an employee, will not have the ability, if I'm enrolled in Apple Business Manager, to delete the MDM profile for my phone. So I know as an IT admin, I'm protected forever on that device going forward for activation lock. This is a big one. Let's go into a policy here. Let's go into iOS policy. All right. On the left-hand side here, you see you have device settings, advanced settings, and supervised settings. For BYOD devices or corporate issue devices that aren't enrolled in Apple Business Manager, you will have access to device settings here. For devices that are successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager and Mass 360, you will have access to the supervised settings. Let's hit edit, scroll down a little bit. Activation lock, allow activation lock. This is typically always unchecked for my clients managing corporate issued iPhones, iPads, MacBooks within Mass 360. I don't know if you've ever had to deal with this in the past. An employee was using your, a corporate issue device, but they were using their personal iTunes user and password on that device. They get fired. They're let go. They leave on, leave and go to a different organization. They turn that phone into you as the IT admin, but they don't tell you the iTunes user and password they were using on that device. And now it's essentially a thousand dollar brick sitting on your desk. And the only way to get it unlocked is to either go to the Apple store or call up Apple support. And we all know both those options aren't efficient and they take hours. Within Mass 360, as long as those corporate issue devices are not, or are, sorry, not are, not are successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager DEP, you'll have the ability to make sure that activation lock, that story that I just told right there, that issue never happens within your organization ever because this is gonna be unchecked. So activation lock, that issue, throw it out the window. You're never gonna to have to deal with it if those devices are enrolled in Apple Business Manager and Mass 360. And lastly here, with device settings again, 
you will have the ability to to push down device setting policies to BYOD devices or corporation devices that aren't enrolled in Apple Business Manager. Here within App Block List and Allow List, you'll have the ability to push down policies which say, hey, I don't want my employees having the ability to have Slack on their iPhone or iPad, right? Or TikTok. This is important to note though. If I push down this policy to a BYOD device or corporation device that isn't enrolled in Mass360 here in device settings, I will still have the ability to download TikTok on my device. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to push the, the device and employee out of compliance. And we can set up a compliance rule where we say, hey, if they download TikTok, we're going to push them out of compliance. We're going to pull off all the corporate data, network configurations, email setup, documents, applications that were pushed down to that device from the admin on the Mass360 account. We're going to put them out of compliance, but I will still have the ability to download TikTok, an unsafe application, most think, on my either corporate issued iPhone or BYOD device because they aren't enrolled in Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager takes it a step further here with application compliance. You can configure it. If we have this set up on a corporate issued device that's enrolled in Apple Business Manager, I will not have the ability, again, I will not have the ability to download TikTok on that device. So we completely enforce that policy action on those corporation devices that are successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager. If it's not successfully enrolled in Apple Business Manager, you can push down a policy saying, I don't want my employees to download TikTok, but they still will have the ability to download that unsafe application. Big, big distinction there, important distinction there, and that's a big advantage of why with corporate issue devices, you need to take advantage of Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager combined with Mass360, it's dynamite when it comes to managing and securing these Mac OS and iOS devices. So again, quick summary. Let me stop sharing my screen here. Quick summary on the advantages of Apple Business Manager DEP. The enrollment process is automatic. It's going to lock in that MDM profile. The employees will not be able to delete that profile. So you will always have control over that device. You can push down iOS updates and enforce them on those devices. Again, you won't have the ability to do that if it's not an Apple Business Manager. And the allow and block list within applications. There are certain settings that you'll have the ability to push down and policies as an IT admin on the Mass360 account that will be available to you if you're enrolling those devices in Apple Business Manager that aren't available for corporate issue devices that aren't enrolled in Apple Business Manager or BYOD devices. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. There's tons of advantages to Apple Business Manager. If anyone needs further clarification, and I hope this video just summarizes, again, if you are managing corporate issue devices. You need to, there's no if, ends, buts about it. You need to take advantage of the programs, Apple Business Manager for Apple devices. For Android devices, it's Android Enterprise. You need to take advantage of these programs to have level of control over those devices that you need and want. Because again, this device thinks it's a consumer device. With Apple Business Manager, it doesn't think it's a consumer device. It knows it's a corporate device and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if anything needs further clarification. Like this video if you like this type, this type of content. Please subscribe and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. One advantage of Apple Business Manager DEP with Mass360 that I forgot to note here. I was just looking down at my notes. You can enforce or install applications silently on devices, on employees' devices. If you don't have them enrolled in Apple Business Manager, you're just going to have the ability to tell employees, hey, I want you to download these applications or push down that application, but the employee has to okay it. With Apple Business Manager, you can enforce silent install on these devices for applications. Important to note. Thanks.